It's fat to fit. It's fat to fit. Rob Barringer is going fat to fit. He's really, 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 really fat. But soon he'll be fit because it's fat to fit. Hello everyone in the Quack community. My name's Rob Barringer and I thought that I'd make a blog series for you. In case any of you don't know me, um, I play for the London Unspeakables. Um, I'm one of their coaches and I've been playing Quidditch for about uh, two and a bit years in the UK. I used, I used to play for Kill, so um, so yeah, so I know a little bit about Quidditch. This blog series is basically going to be my progression from being fat to fit, just in case you didn't get that in the intro. Yeah, this is a kind of like exercise slash healthy eating slash watching a pounds drop off slash watching me turn into some rippling powerhouse of a beast of a man. I'm kind of a Donis chiselled out of marble. Basically, I want to be Angus Barry. So yeah, that's the look I'm going for. I want it to be realistic. So how am I going to get there? Well, basically, it's going to be a long and arduous task. I've lost two stone already just by dieting and not really doing much exercise apart from practicing on the weekend. I have begun to do exercise in the past month or so, um, which has been really quite difficult. Um, because I am so fat and people who are fat have limitations that other people don't have when it comes to exercise such as mobility issues and all that kind of stuff. I was 22.7 stone in early November if you can believe that and now I weigh 20 stone and 7 pounds um, which is good in a way because it means that I've lost 2 stone which is always good when you're fat but I'm still horrifically overweight. And it kind of explains why, if any of you have ever played against me before, if I've ever been on the other team and you've run straight towards me, and when you've run into me, I haven't moved. It's not because I'm good or anything, it's just because I'm so horrifically fat that I physically cannot move fast enough to get out of your way. And if you do hit me, I'm so rooted into the ground by my behemoth-like studs that nothing's going to move me, really. Just to give you a bit of perspective, I've done the calculations and 20 stone to 7 pounds is roughly the weight of three newborn baby hippos. Whenever I play against you, just imagine like a triforce of hippos just coming down and coming towards you. That's hopefully what I'm going to be. I'm trying to get to like two hippos and then from there just trying to work my way down to like a normal weight and not be some kind of colossus running down the road. Most of the exercise I've done so far has been mainly focusing on my legs. Because when I used to run, I normally would get to a stage where my legs would feel like they were on fire, but this was after like 20 seconds. And because I was so fat and my legs were not conditioned, they couldn't carry that weight. So what I did is I went and I bought an exercise by trying to kind of get used to the sprint mentality and the stamina and endurance side of it, just to kind of get my legs conditioned so that I can go on to that next stage to start losing more weight. And I basically started by using the bike every other day, really trying to put my legs through a really good workout to make sure that they lost weight, they burnt the fat, but also that they tried to build up muscle. I do kind of like a mixture of endurance and then sprint and then endurance and then sprint and just have bursts of sprinting in the middle of endurance. And as I was doing the exercise, I began to realise something. As soon as I start bashing away at it with my exercise bike, it's just limbered up and now it's just succulent but it's getting a bit of definition to it. Tenderising it, that's how I'm gonna describe it. It's like a fine steak. It was really like, you know, rough and gritty but now it's more tender and aesthetically pleasing. So that's where I'm at right now. I think the next stage is to start running to make sure that I can run for more than five minutes without having to sub out because I'm tired and being able to run fast and not just go at like a pacey jog, which is what I'm basically at right now. And it's quite nice because London have got quite a big influx of new players recently who are really dedicated and some of them are quite fit. They used to play sports before, so they have lots of exercises and um, fitness drills and stuff that they're showing us. And it's going really well and I'm really looking forward to it because I actually genuinely want to get fit and lose weight. After going to the UK team tryouts, um, I realised how unfit I was and how fit everybody else was. And I realised that being the only keeper on my team, my team is basically depending on me to be there on the offence. So I can't just be someone who stays back to get their breath. I have to be there with them. I have to be with that charge when they try to score and when they go down the pitch. Because otherwise I'm just letting my entire team down. So this isn't just a fitness thing. This is more about you know being a good teammate and being able to be there with my team when they need me the most. So I'm obviously looking forward to the Southern Cup as well because that's another way to gauge my progression and how fit I've got um, since the last time I played Quidditch, what, which was the UK team tryouts. And I found at the UK team tryouts that I was a fair bit fitter than I was when I was um, playing in the BQC. 
because at the BQC I was basically subbing out constantly because I couldn't be on the pitch for more than a minute and I did a bit more running as well. I actually used a lot more energy when I was at the UK team tryouts. So I'm really trying to do as much as I can with my fitness coming up to the Southern Cup. And then after that, of course, I'm going to continue to do that until I get within a healthy range um, or a range which I can actually play Quidditch properly and not just be some kind of remnant that stands at the back by the goals when my team goes on offence. So yeah, that's basically all she wrote for this video. There isn't really much else to talk about. In this blog series, I might actually talk a little bit about tournaments and stuff like that and what I think of teams and the community and all the stuff that's going on. Um, but the main focus will be my, my fitness um, and how I think I'm affecting my team and how I might be making my team better. Um, so it might even turn into like some kind of analysis thing of um, how to play Quidditch well if I get to that kind of stage where I actually understand how to play it well. So yeah, keep tuned. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And um, tune in next time.